So today we're going to be talking about two creators that you may or may not have heard about called Skizzy and Punk Dunk. Skizzy is an animation creator who basically makes animated shorts talking about random stuff, whether it be NFTs or personal experiences. And she was recently dating a, another content creator known as Punk Duck who makes video game content. So recently he released a statement about the whole thing and I came across it because of an article on Dexterito. And they call it a dossier when really it's just like a like screenshots of part of like a document that they wrote which so many documents have gotten so popular over the past like i don't know maybe year like the whole john swan stuff all yrfc i mean it feels like everybody's writing a document even with the pyrocynical stuff there was a document put out on that just every time there's drama oh we gotta write a document it's weird but there are some excerpts that i wanted to read I'm going to link the full article because I'm not going to read the full article because I feel like that would be wasted out stretches of time and just unnecessary. Also, I want to throw in that I believe Skizzy uses they them pronouns because Tuck Duck, Puck Duck, I literally just said his name, uh, Duck, and he keeps getting referred to as Duck, so I'm going to call him Duck. He uh, refers to Skizzy as they, so I'm going to refer to Skizzy as they out of respect. So, let's read. The first six months were mostly fine. Occasionally, they would do the classic redirect anger you're feeling from unrelated issues to your partner and berate me, but I kept getting promised that it would stop and I believed it. Anytime arguments would happen, they would always be my fault in one of two ways. Either I actually messed up or it was a problem they would cause. I would try to approach them and tell them how they hurt me and it would instantly turn into emotional manipulation. So this is a really interesting thing I've noticed in most abuse stories that I've heard is that the abuse doesn't start out like full force right away. Like there's little edges towards stuff like that. And it's really interesting to see like abusive te- tendencies. Now obviously they suck, but like seeing like the type of mind that is like an abusive person and to see their machinations almost I want to say just sort of come is always like a really odd and interesting thing to do also I'm actually sitting outside I don't know if I mentioned that earlier uh, there's a lot of wind and stuff but I'm gonna cut all that stuff about out so hopefully you won't hear any of it. this excerpt comes from after there was a bit of a fit of the yeah, physical altercation between them and it reads I phoned up one of our friends who lived nearby explained to him what just happened as quickly as possible and he saved my life I asked him if I could stay with him for the remainder of my trip and he instantly agrees. He immediately calls an ambulance to their house and an Uber for myself so I can get to his place. While he was packing to leave though, Squizzy allegedly walked in and threatened not only to stab Punk Duck with a knife, but also themselves. I just want to start off by saying, like, what a good friend, because a lot of times it feels like there's people that will just like Oh, be like, oh it's not that bad. Oh yeah, you're not getting no stab bad. Don't even worry, man. And it's just ridiculous how often it happens. It's honestly shameful that people would just wave things off like that. But unfortunately, it's just the way double standards are in the world that we live in. Also, this one sounds completely crazy. Alright, should I refer to them as a woman? I really do not know. First, they pointed at me and then at themselves. I lunged to try to disarm them and they scratch up my arm really bad. I managed to get the knife, but it was at this point that their mother walked in. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty good that he got a witness to this because she seems like the type of person from the story, I'm gonna get onto the validity of the story later on, but it seems from the information that we're getting that this person is pretty crazy. So to have a witness, especially in these type of events, these types of situations is extremely important. But yeah, it basically goes on to say, that her mom came in and yelled at her. Now, I will say, this story has made me really optimistic for male victims coming out. Just seeing the support this guy got as he came out with this story. Just seeing how people were supporting him. I'm outside, <laughs> and there's a bunch of cars whizzing by, so I'm gonna edit that out to the best of my ability. I do wanna add, though, that the main reason this story brought so much, like, 
attention and made me want to talk about it was the fact that she's been in so many scandals before. I mean, I took a look at her Wikitubia page because someone was talking about how she has like a bunch of sections about her. I mean, just taking a look at it, before you can even start reading, at the top, it literally has a warning. And then as we continue on, when you see the table of context, they have an annual abuse accusation, toxicity, racism, and slurs. Uh, I don't even know if I can say that, but 2.5 right there. And then now they've added the 2022 abuse allegations. So they moved fast because the allegations came out on the 19th and today is the 21st. So they've already got a section up on this. Really weird that she hasn't came out and said like anything about this, like at all. Like if it was me, I would instantly be like, hey, this isn't true because it wouldn't be true. About me if someone was making these allegations because they're insane and I think that she'll have to say something because in today's landscape you can't really just hand wave stuff off you're pretty much forced to come out and say at least something like hey this is what went on blah 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 like it's pretty much required so it'll be interesting to see what she says it'll be interesting to see if she'll be like oh I was in a bad headspace and I did all these bad things or she'll be like this is all false but we, we don't know I, I don't have any proof so I'm not saying that she did or did not do it just like I did with my last thing I was like hey we don't know like I was literally like my main point of we don't know and it's a good point to bring up here I don't know I'm speculating but these allegations are pretty weird and it's honestly the first time I've heard of a big youtuber uh, is getting accused of abuse and isn't a man. It's honestly surprising to see, but it's getting pretty loud out here, so I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you all for watching. I really and truly appreciate it. Bye.